Welcome to Music on Blast, Episode 2, and this is going to be a very enjoyable show. Uh, we've, got, we've got a special guest to go along with the world premiere of the band Space Heater X Video, Enceladus, and I believe I got that right, so uh, that is exciting in itself. Um, but let me introduce you from Space Heater X, Joe Lou. Hello. How's it going? Greetings from space. Wow. I know. I love ah. that background. That background is, is pretty awesome. Um, and it really, it, it really does it for the band. Like that, that is just like perfect background for your band. It really is. We, uh, we do a lot of visual stuff. We've got a whole visual component to what we do, so we try to add in kind of silly, campy space stuff wherever we can. Oh, it's great. The whole sci-fi thing, everything, all of that tied in. And I, I, I do have to say I got to view and listen to the video ahead of time that we're going to be premiering today. And it, it was pretty awesome. It was pretty awesome. I oh, like you it. because not only is it, you know, good music, it is the video is also visually entertaining as well. And and I know I said this about your music before when we showcased you on jam sessions. And that video is just amazing because it's not only the great sound, it's just you just mesmerized by what's going on on the screen and to me this song is is really no different it's just it's just awesome to watch you almost it's almost like you're imagining it as a movie mm. and and it, it was that entertaining and I, and I loved it and I can't wait to premiere it so but Joe um Space Heater X what do you guys get coming up for for playing live or anything like that um, yes, yeah, so we're not playing out too much the first half of this year. We do have one show that's like this Saturday um, in New Bedford. I'm looking at my phone here to see. This is the fourth, but um, that's the only show we're playing up until our tour in July. We're really trying to take a step back from shows for a bit and try and really prep for this tour. And um, we've got a lot of digital stuff coming. You know, this music video is part of a whole digital thing. And then we just released a comic book that we're really proud of. And so... Um, you know, playing shows hasn't been the, the main priority at the moment, but we'll be back, you know, we're touring in, in July and maybe we'll catch some people this Saturday in New Bedford. That's pretty awesome. Like, so, all right. So what's the venue in New Bedford? Um, so it's the co-creative center. It's basically like, um, it's a co-op that a bunch of people use for different stuff. Oh, okay. And our friends out there, um, Andy and Ello and, um, Niche and Leah, they run some really awesome stuff out there. They have these DJ dance nights, and lately they've been putting kind of more dancey acts in with the DJs. So we're the only right. band at the show. Everyone else is like spinning vinyl and uh, just doing straight up electronic dance music. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So it, so to me, that just puts you right in the spotlight, and you know, and people are gonna really get a feel of what you know your music is all about. And and I and I'm telling you, people, you gotta stick around for the whole show because we're not gonna just give it to you right at the beginning. You know, that world premiere is gonna gonna air later on in the show, but it's not like it's like two hours from now. It's only, you know, a few minutes. Uh, but we have two songs that we're gonna be showing. Um, the first one is called Lightning Lightning Game. Right, lightning crimes. I can't even read my own writing. Um, now, how how long ago was that video made? So the lightning crimes video was made like three years ago, and yep. at the time, our music was a little bit slower, is a bit more um, thoughtful. It was less party music, and yep. um, we actually don't have a lot recorded for our current set. We've been playing a lot of songs that are not really available anywhere yet um just because we've pivoted so hard in our style so this this first track lightning crimes is much more like relaxed and um we made it 
on a bunch of like old webcams three years ago. Like we're very much like we're all about DIY. Like our space helmets are made of cardboard. You know, oh, that's we, pretty cool. Yeah, we want to see what we can do with what we have. You know, that's kind of a big part of what's so appealing in the sci-fi world. You know, we're very familiar with the idea of like camp and yeah. these old sci-fi movies. Um, the props department, they, they worked with what they had and that was good enough. And we're like, you know what? That's good enough for us too. So yeah, the quality of, of it is whatever we could eke out with um, the, the webcams on the, the our laptops that we had. And I think I yeah. used Fox uh, 360 camera at one point. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, you know what though? People can actually appreciate that, you know, especially other struggling artists and stuff like that, you know, like this is this is about the music and you know and the artistic side of each of those uh, musicians and stuff that it comes out in in videos from when they start i mean that is that is big and everybody look i think just about every band goes through it and and I'll tell you that sometimes some of the best music is when they first get together. And uh, so let's debut on this show anyway, um, Lightning Crimes. And then we'll come back and we'll talk a little more and then have that world premiere video that we're all talking about. So, um, so here is Lightning Crimes. <laughs> Just blinked and our whole lives passed us by. I touch the sky and then it all goes away. I saw the light before I felt the pain.
Lightning Crimes Now You're you're right about the slower Pace of the song Um It's still Still got that 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 deep Sci-fi sound Um That I don't know It just Like you can feel it from down below When you listen to that Like there's there's a lot of feeling In that That song yeah, and, and, the singer Steph's fantastic. Yeah, you know, <laughs> She's so I mean, good. It, 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 it's it's really cool too. Like, like the the artistic part of the actual video, because it almost like it's almost like Tron on steroids. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. To me, that was pretty cool too. Lasers, lots of lasers. We like yes, that. Yes, <laughs> yes, it was fantastic. All right, so. So you got the, the, the new song, Enceladus. Mm. Now, how did this, how did the change, you know, of the music come? You, you picked up the pace and, and how did that all turn about? Yeah, it was definitely the pandemic. It was weird. Um, so when the pandemic hit, we actually had our first tour scheduled in 2020. We had never yeah. gone on tour before. We had everything all lined up. We were going down to Philly and our first show of the tour was in Worcester. And the night we were about to go on is when the pandemic hit. And so of course everything got canceled and we had a whole rock opera that we wrote that we were wicked proud of. Um, And I can't even, I can't even touch any of that material anymore. There's all these original songs that were just dropped because of how stressful it was trying to figure out what to do from there. Um, and what ultimately ended up happening was both for the music that Steph and I were making in Space Heater X and for my solo stuff, um, I ended up just kind of getting really burnt out on, you know, just thinking. I, I feel like the first, you know, year of the pandemic was such a reflective time for everyone. Ooh. We're all just stuck at home alone, just sort of like staring at the wall, thinking about life. And uh, I kind of got sick of thinking, to be honest. Like, I just got burnt out. I was like, I'm done with all this heady stuff, you know. Um, It's not that I don't appreciate really thoughtful pieces or that this new music isn't thoughtful. But I just wanted to, I just missed partying. I missed dancing. I missed going out, you know. And um, you, you spend a couple years without that. And... It just sort of made us hankering for it so much more. I got way more into DJing. I started making music that was all about dancing and, and, and music that you'd feel right. more with your body than your head just because that's what we were missing, essentially. So the pandemic is definitely the the reason why we shifted more from kind of a, a slower, more ethereal, cinematic style into what we're now performing. Um, you know, this year is just like dan- disco dance music, basically. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's uh, it, it, it's it's more than that. It goes beyond the disco dancing thing. Um, I think there's there's it's more it's deeper. It goes deeper than just disco. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it is. There's there's thought and just the the lyrics itself is is very artistic. I mean, let's face it, Enceladus doesn't kind of you know come to anybody's normal conversation. You know, mm. this isn't, you know, Saturday Night Fever stuff. <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so there's definitely, I think there's a lot more thought than than what you're given credit to even. You know, I, I think I think the the style and, you know, between the lyrics and the artistic part of the video that you're going to see is, is just, it's just deeper. And that seems to be like the word I can think of that kind of distru- describes what people are about to see. And I don't know. I, I just think it goes a little beyond the disco. And, you know, but it does get you moving. It does. And people will love it in the clubs. Mm. So, you know, you got you to gotta get this on all the, the DJs' tables 
you know, and, and make them play this because, you know, I, I, look, I go back to the day where I used to, to go to Club Hell in oh, Providence. Yeah, yeah. You know, that was that was fun. That was fun. And, you know, the music there was nothing I ever heard of, heard before. And, you know, and I got to be a regular there because I loved it. And, and it didn't matter where you were in the club. You, you just kept moving because that's what that music did. And, mm. and I think this is going to touch people, you know, in the same effect. You're not going to be able to help yourself. And I think you're going to enjoy, people are going to enjoy this video. And I think you guys are going to do really well with this. And that's I, and I, very kind. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no. And, I, and look, I, I'm looking forward to listening to more. Um, so I'm going to have to def definitely get on that website so I can hear more. So if you want to go check out Space Heater X, the website has all their links to whatever social media they have. So it's uh, spaceheaterx.com. Uh, you can also find them on Facebook at Space Heater X Band and at YouTube at Space Heater X 3282. So, um, so I would suggest getting on there not until after the show. <laughs> not until after the show. But right after the show, you can go and check out all that stuff because you want to stay tuned for the, the premiere of Enceladus. Um, another question, Joe. So now this tour in, in, that's coming up in July, um, how far are you planning to travel on this tour? Uh, that one's going to be to Philly and back. So it's a, not not a super long tour. We're we don't have a lot of experience with this stuff, so right. um, we're just trying to keep it to, to friends that we know. And so New York, Philly, maybe Connecticut if we can um, help it. But uh, yeah, I'd say later on in the year, though, we'll probably start playing more locally. We do already have a local show lined up in July at the News Cafe with oh. some friends. Um, so uh, that one's really exciting. I, I don't think I'm supposed to say whoever else is on it yet, but um, yeah, it's going to be going to be a good time for sure. Oh, I'm sure it is. News Cafe is in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Uh, that's literally like two blocks away from, from you know, where I am uh, half the week. So um, hopefully, hopefully I can get up there and see the, that show. I haven't, I haven't caught a show at News Cafe yet, and I've wanted to for so long. Um, but that might be the day. That might be the day. So. <laughs> There's a really good calendar online now, too, for the News Cafe. Oh, yes. Um, yes. So they've got everything laid out. If anyone wants to support them, um, you can sync their whole calendar. If you have an Android phone, you can sync their entire calendar to your, your Google uh, calendar. And there's always something at some point. Yeah, if for I can figure that out. <laughs> 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 so, all right. So, so let us now, um, I think it's, I think it's time. I think it's time. Sure. We need to debut the, the world premiere of Enceladus is right now.
you have it. That was fantastic. I, like, just watching it the second time, still, it just envelops me. It, it, like, it, it just like takes me to a journey. And, I, I mean, it's just it's so visually fascinating to me. And I, I just love it. I love it. Absolutely love it. And I hope the people out there love it. Um, you know, throw some comments up there. You know, no matter when you see this, throw those comments up there. I don't care if it's two years from now and you finally see it. You know, throw a comment up there because you, the, the people that make music need to hear, you know, um, feedback. And that's how bands grow. That's how they know they're doing the right thing. That's how they know, you know, everything. It's what the fans, you know, see, feel, and hear. And that's what these artists all need to do. So so when we're doing these shows for Music on Blast, this that is, you know, part of the reason why we're doing it is to get people to to interact, get them to listen to the music for the first time, and then some. So, you know, so throw those comments. They're very important as you see the show. And, um, you know, and, and of course, I always let Joe know what's going on when it comes to, comes to the, the video part of it. And um, he gets the feedback from us as well. So, you know, if there's something there, I usually will either tag him in so that way he sees it. And um, so that way you can get directly to the artists. And please, by all means, again, follow them on all their social media. Um, first, you can go to the website. That's spaceheaterx.com. And that will tell you everywhere to go. But we also have the Facebook at Space Heater X Band. And YouTube at Space Heater X thirty two eighty two. So I'd say uh, our Instagram is probably what we're going to be going hard on most of this year. So um, what's the Instagram? Oh, um, good Do question. You know? I haven't I haven't linked on the website, but the the Instagram Instagram is just oh yeah, it's just so it's Space Heater and then an underscore and then X. But um, yeah, right now I'm I'm, I'm currently cleaning up. The, the Instagram page. We've got a lot of like older promo stuff on there, but we right. have a ton of sketch videos that we've been making. Um, the whole idea is we're sort of creating like a little bit of a, a universe for people to kind of plug into and, and laugh and joke around with us. So we've got a lot of short form pieces coming. So you had mentioned you had mentioned um, the comic book. Mm. Yes, uh, that's our our comic book here is finished it's out we sell it at our shows we had a big premiere last year and um we still have copies available if anyone's interested but this thing um, oh that's fantastic yeah we're very we're very proud of of this comic book because it's it was super involved to make um there's a lot of whole lot of pages for this sci-fi like graphic film novel or story. yeah it's uh it's kind of weird it's it's like a it's almost like a photoshop comic book so we uh, we have the traditional text bubbles and stuff, but there is the aliens are hand drawn, but then the environments are sort of like photoshopped together, and we kind of cut and paste in a lot of hidden stuff from Providence or put in our friends, and whatnot. This is a collaboration we made with the really awesome artist named Kurt Fowl. We teamed up with him. Um, right over the pandemic and we put this together there's also a soundtrack to it so when you first open awesome. it up, yeah there's a there's a qr code right at the first page and what you do is you go to that qr code that takes you to the band camp and the band camp lets you stream not only the soundtrack but there's also voice acting for everything so oh wow as you're reading it going through each page you can hear the characters voice their lines there's sound effects there's a film score um there's a narrator oh, you've got to be kidding yeah so we really tried our best to make you feel immersed into this cyberpunk world that we put together it's See, uh, this is yeah. what i'm saying it's like uh, this band is it's it's like a journey and the comic book 
is another part of that that journey. Now, how much is this comic book? Um, I believe if you were to buy it online, if you want the physical version, um, I think it's like $13. It's funny. We actually have a comic shop in Texas that's selling our stuff right now. Um, just because if you're local, you can just come to one of our shows and, and get it from us there. I think it's like uh, 12 or $13. But um, if you don't care about the actually holding a physical copy, you can just buy it from our band camp. I think it's probably like five or six bucks there. And what that is, is it's just a digital version. So it's just a PDF file that you can yeah. then read through. But we also, <laughs> sorry to like. Uh, no, no, this is fascinating. There's, there's, it was just that there's a lot to it. So it, I always feel bad because it takes a while to explain. But finally, there's one last component to the comic book, which is we also made a like 30 minute long video it's a private video that you can get a link to if you purchase the comic book digitally and so you can watch the whole story as if it were a movie there's a whole genre called motion comics um, oh my yeah like dc and marvel they occasionally put out motion comics and it's basically just it's like reading a comic book but on your screen so there's still the words and everything but the panels kind of move slightly and the camera zooms around onto each panel so I would say that's probably my second favorite way to experience wow. the Dynamite Express. First first and foremost, though, if you can get the physical copy, there's nothing like flipping through actual pages. It feels great. But if you if you don't really care so much about that, um, I'd recommend in on the digital route, if you purchase it on Bandcamp, just watch the video because it's a good time. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Like, I mean, this is that like the comic book itself was pretty amazing that you did it for, you know, for, you know, the band and the whole storyline with everything and tying all that in. But then the extra stuff is just amazing. It's like, it's, it's like a, it's like what you'd want from like DC when they make movies and stuff like that, but they always get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, that's I, I awesome. wish I knew the term for it. I, I've only seen a few. We're definitely not the first to do this, but it is hard to find other examples. But I have, I collect like old um, radio broadcast recordings on on vinyl because I'm a dork. Right. And uh, <laughs> some of those, you know, will have stuff that you can read while you put on the record. And um, that was a big inspiration for us. So whatever you would call that style, you know, yeah, we that call whole it War radio of the drama. Thing, remember? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, um, when they actually thought that aliens were attacking and stuff, and you know, so that you created could... a, a big thing back <laughs> in the day. Yeah, it was amazing to to hear how out of hand all of that got. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I love radio dramas, and this can actually be experienced just as a radio drama too. Like, if you go to our band camp, you can just listen to it, and it still makes sense. But um, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot there. All kinds of stuff. So we are talking to Joe Lou from the band Space Heater X. We just played one of their older songs and then debuted their, the world premiere. I'm going to be hopping on this all the time now. We got the world premiere. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, so when, when Space Heater X blows up into, you know, the, the, the multiverse, we'll say, you know, every every dimension is going to be listening to this, and 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 I'm telling you, when you six when you guys are at the top, hopefully you can come back over here and you can uh, you can jump back on with another debut, and uh, you know, and do what we do. You know, it's always it's always good to have you here with us, even though you're you're in Rhode Island and I'm in Massachusetts right now. So, but you're still here. <laughs> you're still here. <laughs> no, man, you it's know. great to see you. It's always, <laughs> always good talking to you. I mean, it's it's been very cool. You've uh, put out an extreme amount of work in this whole field, and that's, yeah, that's great have, to see the enthusiasm. We have 28 different shows now on the channel Oof. that are currently going, not counting the ones that have ended um but we're doing we're doing pretty well and you know the audience keeps growing and growing and growing and that's what we we're here for so now we've been big on 
you know, we started out with the jam sessions. We have 14 of those, and we have another one coming up soon. Um, but we've expanded it to, you know, like music causation where we're doing stuff for for hunger. So, um, so like all the proceeds of that show, whatever we happen to make with bits and stars and all the all the ad revenue and stuff like that, that all goes towards hunger. And, you know, so hopefully that reaches out and then we have this one for the videos and that's what we're, we're keying on. So we're really trying to help the artists in music, especially. Um, and then, you know, I'm still looking to, to help, you know, uh, artists that paint, sculpt, whatever, stand up. You know, the whole bit and and poets as well. So we're trying to branch out into that and uh, they're more than welcome to jump in. So, you know, but Joe, thank you for being here. You hey, know, thanks for having me. Thanks you for all get you do. To, yep, get to space, spaceheaterx.com. You can get all the information on their music, you know, all their social media, the comic book, which I'm going to be checking out very, very soon. Um, I got to get on that website because I'll probably get it digitally um, because I, it'll, I don't do well with physical things and it just gets destroyed for some, some stupid reason. I'll be reading it and a drink will spill. And, no. <laughs> I'll, send you one. I'll send you a copy right after this. <laughs> so so get on there. Check out. If you if you just joined us, and I know somebody just joined us, look, you gotta see the videos. They're amazing, great music. Space Heater X, gotta check them out. Uh, Saturday in New Bedford, um, and coming in July is the tour, the tour, and I'm looking yep. forward to it. I, I gotta check you guys out. Soon as you get to that news cafe, I'm there. I'm there. So, uh, thank you everybody for for watching and who will be watching this in the near future. Uh, thank you, Joe, and we'll see you next time on Music on Blast. Thank you.